Now we're going to make a fire using a bow drill technique. Remember, there's two main or key ingredients in getting a fire with a bow drill technique. Well, of course, you must be prepared. We have our tender bundle, small sticks that are about as thick as a toothpick, some that are a little bigger, and then some that are even bigger than that. Remember, primitive fire making or fire by friction is a building process, starting off small and growing, building your fire as big as you want it to be. Number two, the bo proper bow drill form plays a key ingredient in getting the fire going. So we're gonna walk you through these steps again with the uh, proper bow drill form. Proper bow drill form, excuse me. Here we go. We have the tray, place it down under the notch in the fireboard. That'll be to catch and transfer the coal. With our thumb, we measure about a thumb's width away from the burn end and place our foot on the fireboard. Remove any loose clothing that would get in the way of the bow. Put our knee behind the foot and then the foot off to the side to keep us perfectly balanced. Okay, put the drill into the bowstring. Lay our shoulder on top of the knee and remember, the wrist holding the handhold stays locked against the shin. Okay, key ingredient. Okay, let's get a fire using the bow drill technique. You don't have to speed really fast. Technique says it all. Okay. When you stop, leave the drill in the fire board. This will transfer the last bit of heat that was in the drill. Okay. Now, hold the fireboard down before you remove your foot. Then with the sharp pointed stick or knife blade, separate the coal from the fireboard. Okay. You can let your coal grow just a bit. All right. Now, we'll transfer the coal into the tender bundle. Okay. Remember to keep the tender bundle about head level so you won't smoke yourself out. With the smallest diameter sticks, the ones that are about as thick as a toothpick, lay them on top of your flaming tender bundle, making sure to leave plenty of oxygen space. When those sticks have took, uh, caught fire, gradually start adding sticks that are a little larger. Don't throw them all on at one time because you'll smother the fire. Remember to leave plenty of oxygen space so that your fire can burn. After those sticks catch up, then you can gradually start adding larger sticks. Remember, it's a building process, starting off small and building our fire, our fire as big as we want it to be. And that's how you make fire using the bow drill technique.